Hi, Bill. Uh, my name is Fiona Mugambi. I'm the Growth and Partnerships Lead at Optivia Cabo. And I'm Duncan Kariuti. I'm the Product Lead at Optivia Cabo. And we at Optivia Cabo design and build machines that capture carbon from the atmosphere. And the goal here is to uh, reverse climate change and end the fossil fuel age. So uh, what we're going to show you is um, a few of our commercial machines, uh, which capture each captures 10 tons of CO2 annually. Duncan, take it away. So what we have here are essentially machines that are designed to filter CO2 from the air. Essentially what we do is we, we use the chemistry of CO2 um, to strip it from other gases. So behind here there is a chemical filter that is, um, has a very large surface area and uh, is very selective to CO2. So the process is a cyclic process. Um, each cycle runs about four hours. It takes place in two phases. The first phase is called a capture phase. Uh, and during the capture phase, what happens is um, these plates are lifted uh, and they expose the, that filter to the atmosphere. And um, essentially what happens, air is blown through the, the, the solvent, uh, the filter, which we call the solvent. We use the fans at the top, uh, which uh, basically exhaust air in from all four sides, and um, or suck air in from all four sides and exhaust it through the top. So once the solvent is saturated, um, you can think about it like a sponge in water. Basically, you put a sponge in water, it absorbs and gets saturated. We then seal the system, <coughs> we then seal the system, and we seal it tightly. And when we do that, we uh, actually run a vacuum pump that pulls all the uh, excess air out of there, creating a partial vacuum. And once we've done that, what we, uh, what we then do is we inject steam. Uh, and we inject steam into the system at a set pressure, and then heats up the solvent um, to release the CO2 into the enclosed space. Once that is done, um, we then pump out all the, uh, that CO2, and it goes through a series of buffer storages, and is, com and is compressed several times, and stored into high-pressure air receivers. Eventually, we'll build out this rig to then purify and liquefy that CO2. Uh, once that is done, um, we we'll go back to the first phase. Um, so we first cool the solvent down, and then we uh, open up the system again for absorption. And uh, Fiona will tell, will now tell you why Kenya is the best place for this type of technology. And indeed, Kenya is the best place uh, to deploy this kind of technology. And why is that? We have a unique cocktail of natural endowments. Number one, we have abundant renewables, especially geothermals, which are going to power this machine. So. Uh, for heating also burnt up, uh, our duct is geothermal integrated duct, such that we are going to utilize the waste heat from geothermal wells. Secondly, we have unique geological formations, and that's just the basaltic rocks, which are a great characteristic for permanent uh, CO2 uh, sequestration. Something else we have young innovative talent such as us, uh, who will be driving down uh, the cost of this, uh, will be driving the cost of this uh, duct down the cost curve and uh, how will we improve livelihoods? Uh, we'll be able to utilize the waste geothermal heat and the waste geothermal electricity which in turn will reduce the cost of electricity for millions of Kenyans. So what you can see here is just a view of the dark machines which will be going to Project Hummingbird which is a thousand, a thousand tons of carbon capture uh, facility and what Project Hummingbird will be uh, by 2024, it will be the second largest dark facility in the world. Thank you.